people think, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Depending on how, uh, how Jason does, how Jason does uh, hold himself. Sorry, it's one all now in this match. That's a damn good hit that is from Craig Dixon. Looks very relaxed as Craig Dixon. Queuing very nicely as well. Still plenty of time to get some predictions in if you want to send us a prediction to the text number. Dixon to win 21-19. Winner to hopefully play me, lol. Is that Arf and Dad? I'm assuming so. Well, Arf and Dad fancies a game as well. Winner Arf to play him, you reckon? Now then. To, the winner to play Arf and here? One of, uh, winner here to play Arf and. That's a great game. And uh, Lee Rigby, as uh, Lee Rigby yeah. fancies taking on Jamie. Le Lee Rigby better just um, yeah. not get too excited. Love you, love you, pal. Love you, pal. Only joking. I'm, I'm very happy for uh, my good pal. Mm. Yeah. Sure. Right, Craig Dixon to win 21-16. If there's no beer in his corner. No, that's uh, that's very true, Mr. Rigby. Very true indeed. He's saying if Craig is drinking, then Chan will win by default when the bouncers remove Craig later on. Always likes to get a little digging, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. No, no, to be honest, Lee's quite uh, right at what he's saying there, you know. Uh, the one no, thing... He's on, he's on water all day today, apparently. He's had, he's had a pint. Oh, has he? He has. He okay. has. Yeah. We let him have one. Well, I, I, a pint before a match isn't a bad idea, if I'm being honest. Thing is, we've gone on nights out with Craig, and we've all got trolleyed. That's drunk to all you uh, Southern uh, fans. Um, and uh, we've all woke up with hangovers, with the exception of Craig. That's a great shot by Chun there. Fantastic stroke. He didn't like it. He's not quite in this match yet. No. He's been looking around. He's not really focused. No, no, he's looking a bit bitter. Yeah, Craig has the ability to do 16 pints and wake up with a fresh head when we're all dying. It's, uh, it's quite an incredible sight. Yeah, you're right there, Pete. He's uh, just not looking settled at the moment. Kind of the opposite to how he played against Johnny. Yeah, yeah, indeed. I think he knows that if he does go behind it, it's going to be very difficult for him to come back into this match. Craig's just going to run away with it. Confidence boost, and that's it. He'll start flying. Looks like on the other table, there's been a... A change of the break, the, the end out, the breaking the balls no, out. They've moved them all that end. Right. That's what I mean because all the racks, they're all the racks down there. Why is that then? No, they literally they have moved every ball from one end to the other. Oh my, the, my apologies. The is yeah, this yeah. the same frame? Yeah. Right. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's right. Right. That's good one pocket. That is very good one pocket. Good stroke by uh, Craig there. Also known as boring. <laughs> I, it's, I wouldn't say one pocket was a spectator sport, but for the aficionados, it really is a. I love one pocket actually. Mem mesmerising game. It's fascinating. I think this is going to take a long time. This match. That's what Jason was saying though. If he played tight, 
he reckons he can beat Darren. Yeah, it's not it's not a simple is he, trying, is he trying to play Darren for, for stamina? Yeah. The one thing that Darren, um, you know, because they're not famous for the tournament wins, but they'll probably be earning four, five, six, seven times as much as the tournament players. Yeah. They just stay under the radar. No nine on the snap there. There's a gentleman, friend of mine in America, called Gary Nolan. They call him Bushwhacker. And for 20 years, he was the most feared player in America. Nobody wanted to play him for money at all. And he, he didn't go to tournaments. He just went to rooms and just, just travelled with his wife. And they went and played money all around. And he's a cue collector. That's how I know him, not yeah. through the game. He's a, a very good friend of mine. He's bought a lot of cues from me, and I bought a few from him. And cues again. There we go. It had to happen, didn't it? You know. But, uh, but that's a great shot. Is that that? Oh, look at good effort. That he's got it safe as well, actually. So it's a two-way yeah, shot. Yeah, it's a wonderful shot. Chun's played a magnificent kick there. I see he's been very unlucky not to cover that. You can see Craig Berry in this behind the three here. Oh, my apologies. It's uh, Chun at the table. Sorry. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot. Now, is Dixon going to go airborne? Is he going to kick this? Me, I'll be jumping this all day long. I'll tell you what, to get through that gap. Unreal. Oh, of course, I thought it was a one ball then. It's not, it's the nine, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Play for the two. Then. I think Chum's going for a crazy two nine combo here. Wasn't that medic. crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. With your uh, text in. I have passed on the message to Simon, who is still munching away on chips. Having just sent a, uh, a joke from Tony Weaver as Craig goes on to run another rack here. Not the kind of joke I can read out on air. We do have children watching. Actually, another one. Craig's been breaking well, actually, in this match. Yeah, been very good, yeah. Um, but that's the first time I think he's landed on the lowest number ball. Well, I think uh, all being well, this should be a run out here. It's got a reasonable, reasonable chance to clear these balls now. Good shot. Yes, Mr. Dixon. Just a short stun up the table, to, uh, gently off the nine. Oh, just clipped the nine too thin there. Oh, he needed to hit that thicker then. Yeah. Took the pace out of the cue ball by hitting the nine there, but uh, no, glanced it. I think he's still attacking. There's a text in from my mum there as well. Big shout out to Pete's mum. She's actually not watching. She's just texting to see, is it going all right? And to say that she'd posted our anniversary card oh. because she forgot to give it to my brother. Well. Good 
we have to really broadcast that over the internet then? No, will you? I will. You've heard it here first, folks. Duval is going to get up and do uh, easy by the Commodores. Fantastic. That's if, a very uh, good question from Ben Moore there, aimed oh. at Simon Diwali. What's, oh. what's the best money match you've watched in the UK? Uh, the Other best, than this one. The best, <laughs> <laughs> the best money match I've ever watched. That's probably um, uh, my uh, father, um, uh, way back in uh, the mid-80s. Um, he was a, a rent collector at the time and uh, he didn't have enough money to play the money match and he used the rent money uh, for the money match seriously i shouldn't be saying this on air should i um, i'm going to say it anyway um uh, it was a young gentleman called uh, um, alan patterson who he played who was a he's a he was a well-known county player at the time and really my dad shouldn't have won and my dad beat him seven nil and just completely demolished him and i was so proud and we all went to watch i was only a young kid at the time and yeah. Kind of spurred me on. So I bet nobody was expecting that. Food good at that Chinese place in Leeds, according to Tone. I don't know where he means. So we've been to. I, I, no, we took it. We took uh, Tony to a, uh, a buffet, Chinese buffet place in Leeds. Unfortunately, Tony, it's closed down now, and the new proprietors don't know what they're doing so we actually went back last week to see if the new guys were any good they are terrible certainly not like uh, the old place and according to roger hustlers is open again in dudley i, I heard this um, that's good because it was uh, a good yeah. club actually i quite like that i think we found that out on the pro nine the other week it was uh, um, it was uh, yeah it, it's back up never heard of it never heard of it no, no. no. 